Hey everybody, welcome back. We, uh, <laughs> we now have to go out on an expedition with, uh, Sir Hans Capon in the morning in the courtyard of Rete Upper Castle. It's gonna be great. I'm sure things are gonna go very well. Everything's gonna be fine. We do, uh, we do have to eat. I wanna just see... We have a little bit of coin here. We have a bit of coin. It's not bad. What else do you sell? Oh, you sell the schnapps for a million dollars. That's good. Bandages. Okay. Let's see what we have. Nourishment-wise, we're at 58. I guess, like any of these, um... Any of these rotten items, I should probably drop. And... Don't make much of a meal on their own. Okay, so we actually only have dried mushrooms. Especially soups. Huh. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's buy a few things. We'll go... Is there, like, um... Okay, so, nourishment 7, energy minus 2. Well, that was because it was beer. So anything that gives a benefit to both is pretty good. Minus the wine for now. Let's just see what's all in here. Big duck or turkey makes you really tired. Makes sense. So it looks like uh, bread. Bread is the way to go. Now how much is it though is the real question. Oh, it's cheap. Alright. Do basket. Obviously we gotta haggle because we're cheap. Can we do something about the price? Hmm, all right, so... She looks like she's... deaf. We'll, we'll go easy on her. Are we agreed? Come now. Just a little <laughs> more and we have a deal. Oh boy. Okay, fine. I'll go for that. All right, all good. All good. Now we can eat. Nourishment 92. Look at that. We are doing great. And all those carbs, we have so much energy. I love it. We're feeling stuffed, I think, is what the little pig is saying. Now, we do have to wait till morning. Energy-wise, nourishment-wise, I think we're still in a decent spot. But at some point, we'll have to have a proper rest. Is there a way to tell... So we have the little pig icon by our name. I'm guessing because we just ate a whole bunch of food. But is there a way to tell exactly what that's doing? It's gone now. Okay, so he's in the... Rete Upper Castle. They also said that the blacksmith... When, when we were getting the tour, they were saying the blacksmith might need our help or something at some point. It looks like everyone's still sleeping. <coughs> Makes sense. Uh, okay, we have nothing that we can show. <laughs> Jeez. It does say a lot that uh, Capon is up this early and like the rest of the town is just toast. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. <laughs> Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good exactly. Point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Can I not borrow a horse? <laughs> but sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to be good buddies. That's right. Like, what about this horse right here? Whose horse is this? Or this? Okay, great. No, cool. I'll walk. This is fantastic. Yeah. 
It is nice out here, though. Look at this. Our story of vengeance is really, uh... Oh, we're gonna run this. Let's go! Yeah! Hurry up, blacksmith! I'm faster than your horse. <laughs> the dogs are coming too, this is good. Look here, blacksmith. About that business at the ale house. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Oh, we've got lodgings here, Don't too. Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was... Um little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. And we're different people. Mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Okay. It's a nice little mend he's trying to make here. It's funny when we're like, uh, you kind of insult me. Like, yeah, I, that's just kind of my thing. I just, I just like insulting people. Like, it's, then it's okay. Where's the pups? Cruising. Let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind, yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. Oh, I As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can, sir. Jeez. One step forward, two steps back. Listen, I wanted to ask you about scallops. I don't know if... Um, that is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked scallops and, um... Oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want detail. Jeez, dude. It's really necessary, sir. Arguing with the nobility again, eh? Seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. <laughs> not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, There's sir. nothing to it. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Oh, cool. Okay. Tells me not to dilly dally. Look how frick. Look how long this is. We have to run this whole thing. We'll make camp here. Now, do we have... We have our arrows equipped. There we go. It's a cool little setup. It's got hunting arrows in here. We'll take that. Dried meat, jerky... <laughs> I don't know if he might want this stuff too, but we'll see. Drink upon wine and bacon from his saddlebag. Oh my god. Oh, 
I'm overburdened by all your wine and bacon. Coming up, sir. At long last. Should poison it. Did we give him both of the wine? Yeah, whatever. Do you really want to can't? No. Confirm delivery. Okay. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am. Although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. Right? That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. What about your parents? How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? <laughs> What are you implying? Just Nothing. means when do you get it? I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. Hmm. So what do you do with if your time now? Her, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke. At least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. <laughs> like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. I mean, I can kind of see that. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. Of what? course. Cumans? You should see your face! <laughs> I got you there! <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallets. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. More than that. He's not going to stop talking about it. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scalitz, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Good. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. <laughs> but really? tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. And yeah, we'll just settle in for a cuddle fest here. Wait until dawn. Uh, is there anything we could drop in here? Guess not. The mushroom said goes well in, like, a soup, but... I guess this doesn't count. This- we can actually get some rest here. Comfort sucks, but... Let's go tell here. We'll make it happen. Better than nothing. If there is that perk where if you... The least... The less comfortable it is... The more it is kind of thing. And vice versa. So if you sleep in like a... Super nice bed. Your comfort's actually way lower.
Do we wake him? Wait until dawn. We're dawn. Sir, wake up, sir. <laughs> it's time to like go. That. What? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you don't. <laughs> Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep. Damn it. Look at him. Oh my god. Fine. You know we're going to get up and he's going to be like, you're late. No matter what time it is. Look, there he is. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. I knew this was going to happen. Ugh. Really? Why are we close to Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Oh, heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, that's unfair. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. <laughs> Maybe I was a bit hasty, sir. Too late, dung grubber. You can't back out now. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Great. <sighs> uh, one thing I want to do is take off this helmet. So now, compete with Sir Hands and hunting hares. Okay. Well, we had a pleasant chat that time. Oh, move! This is going to be actually quite hard. I might have to sneak up really close. Oh, I got one. Hunting game is a great source of meat, but if the hunter wants to get a trophy or awful, he has to learn the appropriate perk. And I'm overburdened. Oh my god. Time to panic. You know what? Let's ditch this shield. So good. Yikes. How he didn't move there, I'm not sure. What? Oh, poor guy. It's like petrified. Many before noon, what time is it? What? Nailed it. Am I out of arrows? Hunting arrow. There we go.
Oh, he's coming right back. <laughs> it's like impossible to hit. Son of a bitch. Okay. He's a lucky one. We had a few at the very beginning. Oh, here's a bunch. Wait, those aren't rabbits. <laughs> Let's see if the new, if the thing in agility would actually help us here. Featherweight. Fallen would cause you 30% less injury and dodger lets you jump aside during combat. Yeah. Oh, we already have that. So the only thing we can get is featherweight. Okay, let's do that. Strength. We now have Gravedigger. Hearing the dead won't cost you any stamina. Clinch Master. One third higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch. Boar, deplete an opponent's health and stamina by bumping into him with a sprint. Mm, tight grip. Stamina regen will not slow down in combat, even on the weapon backswing. Yeah, let's do that. I think I'm outside of rabbit territory. So, like... I gotta ask the question, do you guys, and like, you can be honest, but this stuff feels a bit tedious, and like, I get, I totally get why it is what it is, you know? We have to learn these skills to get better at them, etc, etc, and we're just a basic little blacksmith, you know? But... From, like, a viewing perspective, is this something that you guys are... are into? Because I've been toying with the idea of maybe moving this to, like, a stream where we can hit, like... Uh, we can do, like, three to four hour chunks at a time and cover, like, a lot more ground very quickly. Let me know what you guys think about that. I haven't made a decision on it either way. Here's another one. Oh, so close. Oh, are you kidding? Wow. The sway, that sway is so crazy. That looked actually, that was good. What time is it? It's only nine, it's only eight o'clock. Crazy. So, like, the nice thing is, is our, our, um, hunting skills are increasing. 
right? I don't think we have anything within these that can be upgraded just yet. Oh, we have takedown. That's fine, but we've had that for a minute. I guess what we could do is we could just go back to camp. That sway is tough. But like, I have to imagine that like, <laughs> I don't know. We, we eventually get better at it. Hunting larger game might be, oh boy. Might be easier. Like this, it, it's so... Uh, because we're so not good at hunting yet. It's so difficult. There we go. New level and vitality. Okay, so I think what we'll do... Let's mark camp here. Let's head back there, and then we'll we'll advance our time until he comes home. We'll see if it's enough. The, the idea is probably that you spend the, a significant amount of time hunting so that you get better at it. Which makes sense. But I feel like for you guys, it's like... Not that amazing. And that's why I honestly think a game like this where it's so slow. And not necessarily, that's not to say it's a bad thing. It's just really slow paced. This might be better to do like in much longer chunks with you guys. You know? All right. See how we did. I am back at the camp. He is nowhere to be found. So that little book there with the plus, is that like a learning thing? I'm guessing so. We already have those. Let's wait another hour. Imagine if he wants to interrupt us, he will. Back. Hello. How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. You probably well, got like 20. Show me. Not bad, though. Quite good, actually. Yeah, see, he's gonna just Colin like blacksmith's boy. crush us. Um, shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Pretty sure I'm not the victor. The insolence, a serf asking his lord for coin, but never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Very well then. Oh, we did Your do better. Humbly thanks you, my lord. And now come along, let's go and hunt some real game. So okay, so now in hunting. Enables you to get antlers 
Enables you to remove some tusks. He did say we were going to go for boars, right? Henry, mount up and let's go hunting. Oh, we're going to a different hunting ground. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I wrap it up here? I'll take a, I'll take a little snooze. He's going to be pissed. But I'll take a snooze here, and then when we come back, we'll go on to the next hunting ground. But let me know what you guys think. Like, I honestly feel that it might be better to do, like, really much longer chunks of this game. Um... So that we can get things accomplished. It just makes more sense to, to do it that way, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. I'm open to hearing your thoughts. So. Let's see. Did he run off? He did run off. I'm going to have to go chase him. Alright, cool. Well, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, okay? Okay, bye.